Hi everyone, welcome to Pro Visual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can place and showcase your design using Pro Visual and 3D mockups. I'll also explain why this is an important and very often an overlooked part of selling your design to a client. The process I'm going to show will help you save a lot of time. And as you know, time is the most critical asset, not only for you, but also for business owners. So say goodbye to the never-ending revisions and instead spend your free time exploring the 3D mockups and uplifting your presentations. In this video, I'm going to use a pre-designed sport equipment brand, which includes a brand logo, color palettes, and various shapes. Time to open a 3D mockup in Pro Visual to showcase your design in action and give your client a real idea of how their branding will look on the apparel, packaging, transport, devices, and on many other interesting objects. Let's see how you can implement your creative ideas with 3D mockups. Let's navigate to the 3D Models section and select an object for our tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize the 3D mockup of Soccer Cleat. I think this one is what we need. Okay, let's create a new project. On the left side of the window that has just opened, you can see the panel with scenes. Here you can create new variations of the 3D mockup, each with different design, materials, and environment settings. You will be able to add the new ones and delete the ones you don't need. Below, in the scene elements, we see the structure of the 3D model, where all separate elements are grouped into the folders. On the right side of the screen, you can see the design layers, where you can add your design and work with each design layer separately. Below, you can find the panel with the setup of the material you select. At the bottom of the viewing window, there is a toolbar which you can use to perform quick actions with the 3D model, some of which we will cover in this tutorial. To see more useful features and possibilities of ProVisual, you can go to the Tutorials panel by clicking on the corresponding icon at the lowermost toolbar. This is how the default setup of the mock-up looks like. I'm blown away by how realistic the materials on the model look. Let's begin. At first, let's disable the drop shadow to set up the materials more precisely. Let's add the design to the top part of the soccer cleat. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. I've prepared a few design elements. Let's add the first one. In this window, we see the editor, where we can move and modify our design. Here on the left, the position of our design on the 3D model is always displayed in real time. The design perfectly embraces the shape of the soccer cleat model. Let's save our design. Now we will add the client's logo to the soccer cleat, clicking again on the Add Design button at the Design Layers panel. The design we prepared perfectly fit into the right spots on the UV map. Saving our design again. Okay, so we've added the branding to the soccer cleat mock-up. Next, we will set up the colors of the rest of the parts of the soccer cleat model, starting with a collar and adding some color to it. Select the background tab on the design layers panel to activate it. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually. Like this. Next, we adjust the color of a stiffener. Let's use the shade that goes well with the design. Nice color. Let's tweak the material just a little. I think it will look better if it's a bit darker. Next up, we're going to tweak the inside of the soccer cleat. Let's give the lining a nice dark shade. The insole's color is already spot on, so we'll keep it as is. Now we're going to set up the sole. We will slightly change the material. 
In the Materials Gallery, select the Patterns section. This material will add a nice relief to the sole. Let's select it. Next, we're going to reduce the size of the texture. You can set any texture size by entering the value manually, like this. Now let's add the base color. Looks nice and bright. Adding a rim color now. Good. Reducing the reflectivity of the material and adding more depth to the texture with metalness. Great, just what we need. Next, I'll show you how you can change the material of the design. Let's create a unique design for our soccer cleat. Select the upper tab in the scene element. Select the layer with the graphics on the design layers panel. Next, let's go to the materials gallery. In the fabric section, we will select the nylon cord. A very good material for this part. Next, reduce the texture size and make it darker. Now turn the texture a little and add more depth to it using metalness. Amazing! Let's continue editing. Now I'm going to set up the material on the logo. Select the design layer on the design layers panel. In the materials gallery, get in the patterns section and select the reflector. Now reduce the size of the texture. Set any texture size you wish by entering the value manually. Now let's tweak the material a bit and give the logo a hint of a holographic effect. The outcome is beyond my expectations. Let's copy the material settings and apply them to the logo on the stiffener. A unique design with a splash of color. With these soccer cleats, the player is going to stand out on the field. Let's add a good background for our model. Enable the drop shadow before that. We have lots of pre-made background options in Pro Visual. We can choose a solid fill as the background or we can go for a gradient fill. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you. Or add your own image. Let's add one. After this, if you need to change the lighting of the 3D mock-up, you can open the environment settings. Here, you can change the position of the light sources vertically and horizontally. You also can set up the color of the light sources. I will slightly modify the light sources horizontally and vertically. I like it. In Provisual, you can turn on moving lights to see how the light enhances the shape and texture of the 3D model. Rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Save your client's money by using Provisual. You achieve this as you visually demonstrate how your design and client's product will look in real life before even printing it posting it on social media or other online platforms. Thanks to ProVisual, you provide your client with a visual representation of your design and confidence in the decisions made. One more reason I like working with ProVisual is that I can quickly suggest the diversity of the design options or additional materials for a brand and then sell them to the client. Saving the project. After you've completed your design, you can share it with everyone by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients. And that's the end of our tutorial on designing Soccer Cleat 3D Mockup. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.